Hi, everyone. I'm here again with David. David, thanks for being here as always. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right. So David is in Carson City at the Fitness for 10 studio. He's a personal trainer there and also a physique competitor. Um, so let's talk about stress. And stress, I mean, the more I learn, the more experts I hear talking about it, which is not me, but I listen to them. Stress is a bad thing and it can cause all kinds of crazy bad stuff in your body, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Stress can put a huge, huge impact on your body for sure. Yeah. I mean, I think it can cause sicknesses and who knows what it can do. Um, but exercise is a big deal to help alleviate stress. And I know like some people have really stressful jobs, but they come in at lunchtime and they, they walk in, they walk through those doors and they're all stressed out. But the second they walk through that door and they start thinking about their, their exercise program or their workout, the stress is gone. And it just, it just lifts off of them. It's a distraction from their stressful position or life or whatever they're in. And then, yeah, they're going to walk out the door after lunch and go back into their stressful job and it's going to hit them again, but they got a break from it. Right. Right. Yeah. There, there's a lot of people, we have a lot of people just even in this gym in particular, a lot of different professions and different things going on in their lives, etc. So all of us, you know, have a lot of different stresses going on, but yeah, they walk through the door you know, you have all this stress built up on your face and different things going on, stress in your head. But, you know, you come into the gym, any gym, you can come in, you get your cardio in or you get your, you know, workout in. You really put in, you know, kind of channel that that stress into focusing on whatever it is that you're working out. And a lot of that just kind of dissipates that stress, at least for then. Yeah, you know what? You might go back to work and you have some waiting for you when you get there, you know, that's life sometimes. But to your point, Steve, you've gone in and, you know, gotten rid of some of that, put that into something that's going to benefit your health versus continuing to just kind of stack it. Yeah, you at least got a break from it. And mm -hmm. my personal opinion, I think that's a big deal. You at least get a break from it. And there's lots of reasons why people exercise. And I don't know, maybe stress is one of the lower down types of reasons, but everyone is going to benefit from it. Don't you think? I mean, everyone's going to benefit from a little uh, stress relief when they exercise, go for a walk outside, whatever it is. Don't you think? Yeah. And, and you know, because it takes, it takes your mind to your point, you know, you kind of get to unload some of that it, for that moment, you get to get away from it, take kind of a kind of download from from that stress for an hour or however 30 minutes whatever it is and you know for that time you know your your brain at least from whatever that stress is gets to be focused on something completely different something that's better for your health in general because as we know you know whether it's out taking your dog for a walk or taking yourself just walking coming into the gym at lunchtime or after work or whatever whenever you can get into the gym or somewhere that's going to really let you focus on something else, at least temporarily, you get that stress relief from your mind. But the other part is, you know, you get to put that energy into doing something that's more beneficial. Because one of the things that I've seen a lot is, you know, people have stress, one of them is their health, their health is a big stressor, which of course, it, it should be in a lot of ways, we need to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. And, you know, along with work and other life things that are stressing people out, if you're not in good health, or you've got you know, recent health problems, or maybe you're overweight or underweight or whatever the case might be, or you just, you know, you want to go be a physique competitor and, you know, you don't know where to start. All these different things run through people's minds. So we get the stress, constant stress from all this stuff. Well, if you come into the gym, right, you're working on these things. Maybe it's a weight loss thing and you really want to lose weight. Well, one of the problems is if you're going to be stressed, you know, you're going to get that cortisol, which we could spend a whole video on. But and different things are going to build up inflammation. So it's going to be really tough if we're constantly stressed. That's one of the sources of, well, a lot of different health issues, but also doesn't allow you to lose weight quite as much because there's so many different other things going on. Um, so coming into the gym, kind of letting go of that 
for even a small period of time is great because then as you come in more and more and do you know get kind of more involved that doesn't mean you have to be here five days a week and that's kind of a misconception mm -hmm. that you have to be here a lot in order for it to make a difference and you don't have to you don't even have to be here at all you can just you know again channel it into you know walks outdoors or go play tennis or who knows um, something active then you get to relieve yourself of that stress and then you can see some different changes uh, it just takes taking that step to do it and making sure that it's a priority yeah. And it's a distraction. Like I said, it, it's, it's a distraction from the things that you've been focusing on that cause stress. And it's just one, I mean, you eliminate some stress out of your life. It's, I, again, I'm not a doctor, but I, I really believe that it's going to improve a lot of areas of your health if you can eliminate some stress. It's going to help you improve your health in many, many areas. Now, exercise just on its own also has many benefits, but mm -hmm. that's just what we're talking about. Um, and, and who knows? I, everyone's different. So eliminating a little bit of stress for an hour a day or however long it is can really make a big difference in your life. Yeah. And, and you know, some people think, you know, that it's an hour may not be enough, but you'd be surprised, you know, an hour is a great amount of time. If you've got an hour or you can make an hour, you know, to do something active, to do some kind of exercise, it will make a difference. It's not going to happen overnight. You're going to spend an hour one day, you know, outdoors hiking or, you know, an hour here in the gym. And then all of a sudden tomorrow you feel so much, you know, hundred percent de-stressed. No, but as you do that more over time and you just kind of naturally can kind of learn how to to disconnect from all this other noise that's going on, focus on yourself for that period of time that you have, that you make for yourself, it will make a big difference. And then you look forward to that time because that's when the other stuff kind of gets pushed to the side. You get to spend time on yourself for your health, mental and physical health, which is very important both. Um, and then you can go back to whatever it is that was you know, causing the stress, whether it's job, home, whatever, you know, that's a whole nother video, but, you know, this, this part you can do as long as you make time for it and make, make yourself a priority. For sure. It will definitely improve your quality of life. So David, um, I know you're competing and uh, if somebody wants to follow you on social media, see where you're at with your competition and, you know, get some pointers or whatever, how do they follow you on social media? Yeah, so I have two Instagram pages. So one, um, like you're talking about with kind of physique updates, different things like that for, for my personal fitness journey. Um, it's going to be on Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness. And then for training tips, uh, personal training things, I have a new uh, Instagram page, which is at Wright Fitness Training, um, which I'll be posting on more regularly with boot camps and different things like that. Right. And you teach, uh, you teach at least one boot camp at there at the gym there, right? I do Sundays at eight o'clock. And that's getting popular, isn't it? Yeah. People like to do that, get their day started, their morning started off, and then they still have the rest of the day to do what they need to do, but get a great workout in the morning. All right. Well, David, thanks for being with us and thanks for your input. Yeah. Thanks, Steve.